we have a series of problems we're facing all at the same time that are keeping the CCRB from being what it should be. I want to propose very quickly, and you have the paper on this, the things we need to do. I am the second sponsor on a bill that was introduced Wednesday here at the Council by Councilman Dan Garodnik that would grant the CCRB the ability to pursue and within the NYPD trial system prosecute cases independently. I also believe the next item that we should allow the CCRB to initiate complaints, not just to accept complaints from individual citizens, but to initiate complaints if they feel a specific instance warrants it, or if they see a larger trend that requires examination. The CCRB should be more than just a reactive agency. It should look at the bigger patterns. It should be a forum for constructive debate, a place where we talk about the changes and improvements we need to make. Police misconduct is rampant. What is clear since the NAP Commission is the police cannot police themselves they never have and they never will unless we give an independent body like the CCRB not just the legislative power but the funding to adequately investigate and go after these cases. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosie. As the councilman said, we need to have offices around the city where people can come into the neighborhood, file the complaint free of any stress and aggravation. They've already been through enough. They need to know that there are people and there is a system set up to assist them when they have been violated so egregiously. Again, I want to thank the council for taking this step forward. And this is not just about, I don't believe it's just about running for the Office of Public Advocate. I believe that he has a genuine concern for the people of the city. We need to, as a fifth item, make the CCRB part of our communities across the city. There's a very limited community outreach role. There's very limited presence in communities. I think the CCRB should be holding town hall meetings, should be inviting in community leaders, should constantly be examining how do we move community policing forward, how do we better police community relations. Instead, its role in our communities is very minimal and very passive, and that has to change.